Welcome to the Art of Driving presented by Apollo Tires. Today, I'm going to talk about weight transfer. What is it? Well, weight transfer is when a car moves its weight around from front to back and side to side while accelerating, braking and cornering. And the best way to illustrate that to you is with animated cars that exaggerate real-life scenarios. Under acceleration, the animated car lifts its front wheels off the ground and the car leans backward. This is weight transfer off the front tires and onto the back is what we call squat. Now when this car breaks to a stop, just see how the rear wheels lift up and the car tips forward. Even in reality when you step on the brakes, weight is immediately transferred from the back to the front and this is called dive. Finally, when the animated car makes a sharp turn to the right, the car leans to the left transferring weight to the tyres on the outside of the turn which is what we call car roll. So the lesson learned is weight is always transferred in the opposite direction to the car. All of these scenarios happen in everyday driving too and though they are less visible, the impact of weight transfer is substantial. You'll observe from the visuals that the nose of the car dips hard or dives under braking, compressing the front suspension. Conversely, under acceleration the nose goes light and rises up while the rear squats down, loading the suspension. And when you corner hard, the car rolls from or leans outwards. Depending on the weight of the car, the position of the engine and the suspension points, there is a certain amount of mechanical load applied to each tyre. This load dictates the grip of your tyre. On certain high-end cars, you often see spoiler to increase downforce using aerodynamics. Now as you can imagine, this downforce is never constant, meaning Grip levels constantly vary. Let's look at an illustration to understand it better. Let us imagine a car that weighs 1500 kilos. The grey area represents the tyre and the black the contact patch. With a typical front wheel drive car's weight distribution of 60% front and 40% rear, we'll assume the car's side to side weight distribution is equal. When standing still or under a steady speed, the front tyres have 450 kilos of weight load and the rear tyres have 300 kilos each. Now what we see is that during acceleration, load shifts partially from the front onto the rear tyres leaving less load or grip in front. During braking, the weight shifts from the rear onto the front wheels, leaving less grip at the back. During cornering, the weight shifts from the inside tyres to the outside tyres. Thus, if you were accelerating while turning right, the least weight would be on the front right tyre and the most weight would be on the rear left tyre. Tires with less force on them will lose traction faster than those with more force causing the car to unsettle itself. It is important to note that actual mass does not shift in the car. The suspension causes the body to tilt and apply the force differently. The visuals speak for themselves. The taller car with the higher centre of gravity leans more around the corner than the car which is lower to the ground. Now that you've understood the concept of weight transfer, in our next episode, we'll tell you how to use this to your advantage to better your driving skills. Keep watching The Art of Driving to be a better driver.